Η ανάφλεξη στην Μέση Ανατολή, πιστεύετε ότι θα προκαλέσει αύξηση των μεταναστευτικών ροών. Ποια είναι η προετοιμασία της Frontex αλλά και της Ευρώπης για κάτι τέτοιο. Yeah, of course we are monitoring the situation in the Middle East very closely because it can potentially indeed mean the start of an additional migratory flow to Europe. Right now we do not see any um, extra flows from that, but also of course because Gaza is more or less closed right now. So we are preparing, we are preparing scenarios, what to do, and that's one of the reasons I'm also here in Greece to discuss them. Uh, but it's not, not the only uh, territory, the only area we are concerned about. There are more places in the world where we see natural disasters, conflicts, economic despair. So I think it's part of a larger picture we are preparing for. Υπάρχει το τελευταίο διάστημα μια καινούργια διαδρομή που επιλέγουν οι διακινητές και αυτή είναι νότια της Κρήτης. Είστε σε επαφή με την Ελλάδα, έχετε κάνει κάποιες συναντήσεις για το πώς θα πρέπει να ελεγχθούν αυτές οι ροές. But that is actually also one of the topics we have to discuss. And when they see us taking countermeasures to prevent irregular border crossing, what they do is they change their routes. So they are very much observing what we do and how we do it. So right now we already are providing to the Greek and Italian authorities situational awareness by deploying uh, airplanes and drones to make sure that we see what happens. And we will discuss this week with the Greek authorities whether we need additional measures to also not only observe but also intervene in this, uh, in this new route. Η Τουρκία το τελευταίο διάστημα φαίνεται να έχει αλλάξει λίγο την τακτική της απέναντι στις μεταναστευτικές ροές. Φοβάστε ότι αυτό μπορεί να είναι κάτι προσωρινό. Well, I think in general it's very important to cooperate with the countries that are bordering Europe. Because only together, we work together, we can really face this challenge. And Turkey is a very important partner on this.